Dear ladies and gentlemen, I would like to give you uh, an overview and a help for the clinical choice of titanium versus zirconia abutments. We will discuss the abutments in an overview, then we will go into clinical outcomes of abutments, we will see which factors are of influence when we make the abutment choice, and in the end we will have a short summary. So let's start with the overview of the abutments. As you can see here, we have a lot of different situations in the clinic. So we have different implant systems, we have different reconstructions, we have different materials, and this makes our choice a little bit complex. When, you, when we divide the abutments, you can see that we have the internally connected ones, as you can see here in the picture illustrated as a zirconia and a metal abutment. We ha have the ones which are externally connected and we have abutments with a titanium resin base. And all these three abutments are possible. When we look at the internally connected zirconia abutments, we can subdivide them in the one-piece zirconia abutments and in the ones with a metal insert already prefabricated by the manufacturers. As we know from a lot of uh, in vitro studies, we know that the highest load is around the abutment screw head. And this influences, of course, the result. So titanium as a metal is a ductile material, and we have the formation and fracture of the abutment screw. While zirconia is a brittle material, it's a ceramic, and the critical area here is around the screw head in terms of stability. So we might end up in a fracture like you can see here in this clinical uh, situation.